So a little bit of focus would perhaps be good from some of these people. You know, all of these little silly side issues that are all put there just to keep us doing this, just to keep us fighting, just to keep us squabbling amongst ourselves rather than looking at what's going on around us. You know, we have a real opportunity here to address this if we could just get a little bit of focus. And that's something that I've been suggesting for a long time now. You know, the problem is that, like I say, people want a game plan, but there is no game plan apart from you not complying with what is happening, not complying with the smart grid, not complying with the system, not complying with the need for infighting, not complying with all the division that everybody is promoting. Stop squabbling amongst yourselves. For God's sake, people, stop squabbling amongst yourselves. Stop arguing over your belief systems. Stop looking at different rabbit holes and trying to point the finger at everybody else and realize that we are the ones that are holding the system up. And as soon as we choose to stop complying with it, the system falls apart. The system breaks down. You know, all the people that are speaking out against the system as well and wanting to bring the government down and bring the financial system crashing down and all the things they want to do, we don't want any of that, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want to destroy society. What we want is some honesty and some transparency. What we want is people that are going to manage infrastructure in a responsible way. I mean, if you want to bring down this system, you want to crash the financial system, you want to do all this stuff, sure, we don't like the fiat currency, we don't like the way things are run, we don't like the fact that we all have to pay to be alive, we don't like the fact that we're all living in a state of constant debt, we don't like the fact that there is no mutual respect for society, there is no mutual respect of each other. At least respect people enough not to insult them anyway, at least respect people enough to let them have a normal day without you interfering with it. You know, I'm not asking you to revere people, but at least give people the basic respect to leave them alone and to let them just get on with their life. If we could just do that, perhaps we'd get somewhere. But we don't need to destroy the system. We don't want to destroy the system. What are the options if we destroy the system? The system comes crashing down and what? It's just every man for himself and we go back to living in caves without electricity and we don't have any of the stuff that we're used to having. We don't have any of the social structure at all. Is that what everybody wants? I don't think so. What we want is honesty and transparency in government. What we need to do is remember what government is supposed to be, which is supposed to be people who are elected into positions of responsibility to responsibly manage infrastructure for the people. And they're not doing that. But we have infrastructure here. We need it. We want to keep the infrastructure. We want it managed properly so we can just get along with our lives and reach our creative potential, whatever that may be. And that doesn't involve us being limited in what we can or cannot look at, what we can or cannot think about, what we can or cannot say what ideas we can or cannot espouse, what beliefs we can or cannot have. I mean, sure, if you want to believe something, believe it. It doesn't affect me, but just don't force it on other people because then it does affect me, especially if you're trying to force it on me. You know, why can't we just have that type of mutual respect for people and realize that everything that we're facing that is bad in our lives is stuff that we hold up. And we don't want to destroy the system. We just want honesty and transparency. We want something that's going to work for everybody. And that doesn't mean watching the whole thing crash and burn like some doomsday prophet or some doomsday mechanism, some weird sense that we have of the only way that we're ever going to get anything good or anything great is going to happen is if this whole system crashes and burn and we rise like a phoenix from the ashes. But I put it to you, is there anybody out there who has the potential to make that happen, to see that phoenix rise from the ashes? Because if this system does crash and burn, it's not going to be anything rising from the ashes except a lot of really burnt people. are going to rise up and they're going to have no real life skills left because social justice warriors and this corrupt political and education system took all those life skills away from them. So what we need is a little bit of focus and a little bit of common sense in what we're dealing with here. We need to stop squabbling amongst each other and really step back and look at what the real issues are here and how we can deal with these issues. You know, a mass day of non-compliance, a mass boycott of anything the government tells you to do, just put your tools down and stop and turn and face these people and say, hey, we've had enough. We see through your plans now and we're not doing this anymore. If we were to do that, we would change the world in a day.